We're sitting here with the entire world champion Boyd Exel for a little interview. Um, Boyd Exel had a little accident a couple of weeks ago, broke his leg, and uh, now he competed here in Aachen with a broken leg. So how was that new impression for you, Boyd? Uh, good and Avant. I um, was quite interesting because I also worked with the German team on the Saturday and Sunday before, and they were very patient because we had microphones set up and I sat on the end of the arena and did some training with them. Um, so I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to compete here because it was so fresh after the, the accident. Um, but I thought it was important for my horses to do a show. They hadn't done a show since Royal Windsor and Valkensvard. And then uh, it was in the program to do Arkan and then fitness training and then try on. So I was quite keen to do it. Even if I wasn't ready, I thought the horses needed to do it. Okay. Um yeah, you won the dressage again by a big, big uh, difference to the other ones. And the question is that everybody is asking a little bit. Um, being a world champion four times in a row to, since 2010, how do you motivate yourself every year to compete at this high level? Well, driving a team of horses is like um, chasing a rainbow. You're always looking for that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and um, it's the same with four horses. You're looking for the perfect solution for a super dressage, fast cross country. And while ever you change one horse, you change the complete dynamic. And uh, this year I put a new horse in called Checkmate. He's made a big difference. The power in the wheel for the dressage is a really elegant horse. Um, and I'm enjoying driving him. But then today I needed, I realized I needed a little bit more fitness training because um, he's a new horse and he had to dig deep. So my favourite horse, Rambo, um, will probably come back to the next show. But um, I've got the advantage of a really super dressage team. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to the future. And uh, what is the big secret behind your success? <laughs> the secret is you never give away your grandmother's recipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, coming to the marathon today driving with that habit that you had with your leg and yeah the mobility was totally different and to what you normally used to um, how was it to compete with that yeah I found it um, limiting in places especially when there was hills up and down the bridge was quite a challenge um, and probably my horses felt the lack of suppleness from me I was a little bit giving them bad signals and I was giving them interference and I, I didn't give them the best ride around the course. So I'm pleased with the result. The horses and I had to work really hard. It didn't come as easy as usual. So I'm a bit disappointed in my feeling, but happy with the result and considering everything that happened, um, it was a good performance, you know. I had one knockdown, so only one or two points behind Eisbrand and Brahm on the marathon. That's, that's um, with a broken ankle leg, then I'm happy with that. Yeah, I would say it's uh, amazing with a broken leg to co compete like this and uh, show the audience here in Aachen such an amazing uh, performance. Talking about WEG, your goal for WEG, obviously world champion fifth times in a row. Yes, I mean, the horses definitely have the potential to do it. Um, we have the experience. I have a super group of sponsors uh, from Willie Nassen to Hugh Scott Barrett to Boots Wright from America. They always look after me well, but my support team, I have, uh, we, I think we have 12 or 14 people here this weekend pulling together, but it's the same group that I've had for 15 years. So that's a big, that's a big uh, bonus. But coming to Arkin this weekend, um, Arkin did a, a, a good job. They asked the the doctor from Arkin to give me a, a vet check to check that I was fit to compete. They asked the technical delegate to check my carriages, hadn't had any illegal mo modifications. So they also were prepared to let me compete, but they also had to make sure that they were complying with the rules and not um, uh, giving any unfair advantages. Other competitors have also competed in similar situations, but um, in the limelight, I think they Arkin did a good job. Okay, then uh, we wish you best of luck.
for tomorrow, the cones, that you stay in the lead and best of luck for WEG and thank you very much for that interview. Oh, good, thank you, Shin.